Um, hey, yo, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bolt Sotel. Today, I'm gonna be giving you some guys, uh, better advice, um, on playing The Sims 4. I gave you some advice on how to take care of your hair in the last video, but I don't know if that was really, um, if I gave some good tips on that. So maybe don't follow that video, but you, you do need to follow this video if you're a Simmer, Sims 4 player, um, just if you play The Sims, then this is this is good advice right here. Um, I've been playing The Sims since I was a baby. No, I have not been playing The Sims since its initial release. For I I was not conceived then, but I do vividly remember playing The Sims Three on the half broken PS Three when I was really young. Um, so I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips on how to be rich in The Sims Four without cheats, without mods. Um, Basically, what I like to do is, since my and, and when I play The Sims, my family, we I have a family, a nice stable household. I like to make my Sim um, a freelance programmer. It's definitely one of the best jobs you can get. Um, because, like, you, you start off, like, all of the freelance ones are pretty good, right? But freelance programming is definitely one of the, like, simplest. You can get paid so much. Um, especially if you get, like, really high promoted. Um, and the cool thing is, is that, like, um, just don't reject any gigs. Like, if you click on a gig, don't get rid of it, because that'll lower your performance. But, like, say, you don't even have to work for, like, a week, and your performance bar will not go down. So it's just, like, whenever, and you can just do it. Whenever. And you can get paid really well. Like, there's this one gig, um, it's called Redacted. I'm pretty sure you get it at level 9 or 7... I, I forgot, but it's somewhere higher up in the programming school, um, and that pays like thousands, like thousands upon thousands, and it's really fun. And you also get money while hacking as well, and it's like, that's the only gig that you actually get money in the process of doing it. Um, so yeah, that that's one thing. Um, you should also invest in, with garbage bins, there's this one, I forgot the name of it, but it's like the electronic garbage bin um and that's the best one because each time you put something in there you get money from it so it really pays off really easily quickly um and another thing i've noticed with the with that electronic garbage bin is that like um if you put enough stuff in there then the um money that you get back will increase like when i first started using it, it was I, it only paid me like 10 bucks per piece of garbage now I get paid like 50 bucks per piece of garbage. That's amazing. Um, another thing, do gardening. Just start up a massive garden. It's also fun if you like completing the collections and stuff. Um, it's good because gardening, it can sell for many stuff. You, you can sell your um, vegetables and your plants or whatever for really high prices. Um, my garden in The Sims 4, well, one of my gardens, um, if you get to the point where you can do super selling, then it can sell for, like, like my plants, a lot of them sell for, like, $13,000 per super sell. And I only have, like, um, five or six, uh, full, um, what's it called? The, the harvest, the, the plant box thingies like the square ones where you can hold four different kinds of plants yeah um do that and then just make sure you take care of them as well um it's also pretty cool if you do gardening um because you get ingredients from there which you can actually use in like when cooking stuff to get cheaper prices on your meals um and that's epic Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye! Pshaw.